Intel might be releasing a new anniversary chip with some crazy good stock performance, and I've got some leaks regarding the high performance variants of Ryzen Mobile from AMD. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to Gamer Melt. The Intel 8086, a 16-bit processor released all the way back in 1978, was the start of and part of the reason for the naming of today's modern x86 instruction set architecture. While plenty of additions have been made to the original instruction set, there's little doubt the 8086 was a pivotal moment in processor design, and the fuel that eventually rocketed Intel into being one of the biggest semiconductor companies in the world today. Well, if these leaks are accurate, Intel clearly understands the chip's significance. Rumors originally began making waves last month that an anniversary edition of the 8086 was soon to be released, marking the 40th anniversary of the chip. It's called the i7-8086K, and given Intel is on their 8th generation core processors, which means they start everything with an 8, this is clearly the perfect time to do it. The original rumor saw a member from a Chinese forum claiming to have tested the 8086K. The chip was also said to be a 6-core 12-thread CPU, but what's interesting is that according to the original poster, it had a base clock of 4GHz and a single-core boost of 5.1GHz. Sure, we're talking only a single-core boost, but that's still impressive for stock performance. The poster was also able to get an all-core overclock of 5GHz, but with the air cooler used, it did get near 100 degrees Celsius. So with a decent cooler, it probably won't be that hard to get some very decent overclocks on this new processor. Of course, this was all last month. What brings me to this topic today are listings from multiple retailers that show the new chip. Chinese retailers have had them up for some time, but Italian, Russian, and Canadian retailers are following suit. Now, some retailers do seem to have taken it down, though that's probably just because they weren't supposed to reveal them just yet anyway. And it's important to note that Intel does have a keynote coming on June 5th, so if this is real, it'll almost certainly be announced then. Lastly for today, while we didn't get a new line of graphics cards from Nvidia last night, which was almost definitely not going to happen anyway since they've never unveiled new gaming cards at GTC, and most leaks point to July, we did get some leaked benchmarks on Ryzen's upcoming H model of high-performance mobile CPUs. That's right, one of the final gaps in AMD's CPU lineup is soon to be filled by the dentists of success, with mobile chips made more for the professional and gaming markets. Unfortunately, this doesn't give us much, except that there's got to be an error that this gives the 2600H a higher physics score than the 2800H. But regardless, both chips are 4-core 8-thread CPUs, with the 2800H sporting a base clock of 3.4GHz and the 2600H at 3.3GHz. Whether they'll be able to hold their own with Intel's expanding line of mobile chips is hard to say, but given their desktop CPU market right now, I'd say they've got a shot. So while that does it for today, what are you most looking forward to? A possible new anniversary chip from Intel or more mobile options? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like all things gaming hardware news, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a great day.